the tallest seated bronze Buddha in the world, and the easiest to pass temples. We in Hong Kong and on a path towards self-cultivation on Lantau Island. Welcome back to OK Ten Labs. This is a new episode of my Hong Kong secret history tour. <laughs> It's great to be Jack. back. Jack, he fired me for a few episodes. But good good find... to have the old friend DJ again in the show. Couldn't find anyone else to come with him. But I've been here a few times before. Jack, what are we going to learn that's new today? So everybody been to Anping to see the big Buddha, but there's lots of Buddhism influence. Temples and temples and temples and temples. We're going to see lots of temples today. Okay, looking forward to it. Let's, Let's go. Going. Hong Kong, Pearl of the Orient, is famous for its beautiful harbor, skyscrapers, and shopping malls. In this series, we are taking you behind the glass to discover some of the hidden histories. We started our walk at Nong Peng, where you can see the 34-meter-tall Big Buddha almost from every corner up there. It, she, he holds the record for being the tallest seated bronze Buddha in the world and attracting tourists and worshippers from everywhere. The Pauli Monastery is opposite the statue. We quickly toured around and grabbed some lunch. The Buddhist vegetarian meal has lots of choices. After a nice walk, we kept going, but it wasn't too long before DJ started complaining. Jack, this is okay turn left, all right? We shouldn't be having to bushwhack on a show like this. Just push through all of this. It's a travel show. It's not an adventure show. Where are we going, Jack? Summertime, it's a little bit overgrown. But you see, this is the Buddha work, yeah? You see? The Buddha is doing your sight. It'll be fun. That was a shortcut I took to show DJ the Wisdom Pass, a series of 38 wooden stilis stating verses from the ancient Heart Sutra. One of the world's best known prayers revealed by Confucians, Buddhists, and Taoists alike. These stilis display the prayer based on the Chinese calligraphy of the famous scholar, Professor Yao Zhong Yi. After marrying the stilis, we headed north on a shaded path to look for more Buddhism-related stuff. Sorry, DJ, lost a bit. I cannot show you the arch. But now we're on the far moon uh, in ancient travel. Okay, so I kind of mixed up the trail names. The path we were on was the Taitong Zai Country Trail because of DJ was insisting I show him the old arch. Sadly, we didn't have much luck finding it. We still have a little bit of to, to go. <laughs> okay, well it's been reasonably interesting so far. I've got to say I wasn't expecting a bushwhack. I was also <laughs> hoping that you knew where you were going, but some interesting things nevertheless. Tell us a little bit about this. This is just a stone, is it? Yeah, this is a uh, concrete stone built arch here, and this is a Chinese character, Buddha. You cannot really see it clearly, but all around the place is about Buddhism. Yeah. And he learned a lot. What, what does the, the Wisdom Pass stand, stand for? Infinity. See? He learns. He learns. Along the way, there were many mini statues. I really wanted to visit Paola Ministry, but it had a meditation retreat going on and it was closed to visitors. We could only try to listen to the chanting to experience the atmosphere. We kept walking along the Tai Tong Zai Country Trail, enjoying the good weather. All the temples and the monasteries were closed. Only one semi open pavilion we could visit, and immediately we could feel the Zen. Okay, <laughs> DJ. This is the end of our trip. A small walk, 
passing all the temples. Most of them are not open due to the coronavirus. They are lucky. Yeah. It's a bit of a shame, but I mean, it's been the same story pretty well for the last few weeks, and we can respect their decision to keep us out at this particular point of time. But very interesting, uh, as always, with you, Jack. Learned something <laughs> new. Been here many times, but didn't know half the things I know. Yeah, now. I hope you find a bit of peace in your <laughs> mind. Never any peace with Jack, that's for sure. All right, thank you for watching. <laughs> Bye. Bye. see behind me this is a very normal experience first he takes me bushwhacking now he has got no idea where we are or no idea where we're going this is Jack's secret history tours Buddha is listening yeah? watch out what you say <laughs> Jack's get lost that's what it is <laughs>